Hello. In this video, we are going to learn about semaphore class in Java multi-threading. So here we have a program. Uh, in this, I have created an instance of semaphore, and uh, it has got an input argument. So the input argument for the semaphore represents the number of available permissions with the semaphore class. So if you run this uh, program now, so here we are printing the semaphore dot available permits and it will print number one uh, one permit so we have one available permit so in semaphore we have two different methods which we need to learn about they are important so semaphore dot acquire and uh, semaphore dot release so what these two methods would do is acquire means it will look for the available permits and if there are all uh, permissions available it will acquire the permission and release means it will release the permission so uh, we need to solve this error so we will sort on the try catch block for the acquire method so what i do now is i will just comment out the release method and let's run this program and now we will see how many available print permits that it prints okay now it is printing only zero permissions because the acquire method has acquired one of the permissions and now the available permits with the semaphore is only zero. Now if you remove the comment for this release means we acquired the permissions here and now we are releasing the permission and now we run this program and now it prints one again. Uh, now what we do is for example with the semaphore let's start with the permission as zero then what happens is okay the program is not printing the system out and it is actually waiting on this line to acquire a permission and because there are no permissions available the program will wait on this line until it gets a permission so a single a semaphore with one permission and with acquire and release would work as a lock class in multi-threading. So now what we try to do is we will try to learn about a example where we want to uh, get sem 10 samples at a time. So what we are trying to do here is uh, we wrote a program here so that is called as a sample program and here we have a get instance method in the sample and here we have only one instance of the sample class available and in that we will call this get sample method and here we are incrementing the sample count so at a time we want to have a 10 samples to be available here if you see we are looping through 100 uh, count in the for loop but at a time we want to ensure that the sample count can be only 10 at a time so what we do here is uh, we will use our executor service and we create 200 threads and then we call our get sample method and see how this works to start okay. now I'm creating an executor service and uh, now I'm using a for loop in I equal to 0 I less than 200 and I plus plus XEC dot submit and new runnable and I need to override the run method and here what I do is get instance dot get sample okay. uh, it is I okay so now let's run this program and see what it prints Okay, so it is printing up to 199 and 200. 
so but the thing is that we want at a time only 10 samples uh, to be present so the sample sample count should not exceed 10 at a time so it means what we need to do is we need to use our semaphore class to control the number of uh, samples present so what i do now is i will use this semaphore class here i will create semaphore I want 10 sample count to be present at a time 10 samples so I will provide 10 permits now in the get sample method what's happening is we are looping a hundred times in the for loop so that's why the count is can go up to more than hundred uh, more than um, 10 always so what I'll do is that I will acquire a permission here and then I will release the permission at the end of the uh, for loop like this so my acquire and uh, release methods I am calling on the semaphore within the for loop so now if I run this method what's happening is at a time the sample count can be only 10 why this happens is the program once the 10 available permits are acquired it will wait until the next available permits are uh, exist means for the 11th time it will come in this uh, the program will come into here and it will wait on this line because there are no available permits so it waits until one of the permit is already released here so that is how we are maintaining the sample count to be 10 always and one more thing is if you look at this program we have a issue so what could happen is once we acquire the uh, permit and before uh, we release the permit what if there is an exception happens within this code so it means we will never be able to reach this line uh, so we may not be able to get the available permissions back so that's why what we need to do is we need to always ensure that our release method runs in finally block every time so what I do now is uh, uh, I will try to write one more class and then I will try to move the acquire and uh, sleep method the uh, release method there like um, I will do like a extract method something like this and then this code block the acquire code block I will move it here and then I'll run everything within a try catch block So with this method what happens is uh, before calling our get sample method we are acquiring the permission and then we are calling this method and within this we wrote a try try block and even if there is an exception happens here we will ensure that the permission is released in the finally block. So this is the way to use the semaphore class. Uh, thank you for watching this video uh, please subscribe for more uh, videos thank you